But those cameras, now those were cameras where, I thank God I got on it because I, I had experience, but I didn't have experience like a soap opera gives you. Oh my God. I had the turret. It was three lenses. Two, five, seven, four lenses. And a 135. And they give you shots. Now you had to know what lens you're on. So you used to put, it was a shot, Shot number, it was a lens number, the lens you were using, the shot number, and the shot. That's how we used to fill out the card. Because if you're on a, a two inch, which is a wide, and you had to go to one of the, some of them, you had to go like this and get the shot. As soon as that turned, you had to flip it and focus. And the focus was right here. It was black and white. And the turret, it was very hard to run on a soap opera because... God forbid, you're not on the right lens. You have to start trucking back on air <laughs> to get somewhere, and they know you're screwed up because if you were supposed to be on a tight shot and you're on a medium shot, there was no way you're going to get the tight shot. Maybe truck in a little, you know, to save it. Because at that time, they didn't hate it overtime. Not hate overtime, they hated editing. It was two-inch tape. Imagine two-inch tape, and the reels were just very heavy. Two-inch reels, and how they used to edit, it's like you have to take a, a razor, cut it. Well, we didn't do it. The editors did it, and they used to splice it together with tape. So every edit, and they have to fool around with the exact spot and everything, was a lot of time, which caused a lot of money and a lot of overtime. So... We became pretty good. No overtime, no editing and everything. Now and then, 